Good day, everyone. My name is Mark Leclerc. I'm the Vice President of Strategy and Marketing for Noviflow Inc. So I'm going to talk a little bit about who we are and what makes our product special. So Noviflow is a spin-out of a university project, the University of Quebec in Montreal. And what we've done is we've implemented the OpenFlow protocol on high-performance network processors. Uh, the question is, of course, why is that important? Well, I'm going to explain a little bit about SDN and OpenFlow to do this. I'll try to do this as quickly as possible. First off, if we take a look at SDN, it's, it, SDN stands for Software Defined Networking. And when we say software defined, okay, this has a special connotation. It means that the entities that are using the network resources, the applications and the services and so on, are going to be able to communicate directly to the network and specifically ask for things. Now, the things may be capacity to do a specific type of flow or interaction. Uh, it could be a level of quality of service. It could be limiting certain factors so that you, you can assure that costs don't balloon out of shape. Well, all of these are software-defined activities. Now, SDN has been created so that it would be easy to add this type of functionality onto existing networks. Now, there are some consequences to this as well, which are, are how do you architect the network and what type of devices do you need to make sure that this is going to be efficiently done. In SDN, we have something called the match action paradigm. That is to say that uh, switches in an SDN context, in an OpenFlow context, will match on certain parameters that are set by a central entity called a controller, and then the switches will take certain actions. And these actions could be to concentrate flows of information together, it might be to separate them and send them to different places so that you can behave differently, you can, you can have different quality of service for different customers, for example. Uh, or you can even use this to concentrate flows onto specific equipment so that you can use that equipment uh, much more efficiently. You can run it at a higher level. Uh, maybe instead of 20% utilization rates, maybe run it at 80% and thereby reduce the power consumption and reduce the amount of air conditioning you have to use. And then also what you can do is you can take services and expose the data traffic coming in only to the services that they need to be exposed to. And for all of those expensive boxes that people are buying now, you know, to, to be able to do load balancing and you know, firewalls to prevent intrusion. These are expensive boxes. You, you don't want to expose all of your network traffic to those things because then you have to buy huge boxes. What you want to do is have only the traffic that needs to go there to be exposed to those boxes. This is called service chaining. Again, this is something that you do with SDN because it is software defined. You can set that up and you can tear it down as the conditions in the network change and as the demands of the applications are running. Now, finally, then what is the consequence on the physical architecture of switches? Well, switches, generally speaking, contain a forwarding fabric. In, in general, these things uh, will be either uh, a specially designed ASIC for switching uh, or a network processor. And then you have some sort of host processor here. Now the host processor is there to do things like communicate to other nodes in the network, the element management systems, the mat and so on. Now, in a traditional setting, all of the tra traffic is coming in here, going through the forwarding plane, and this forwarding plane implements what's called a pipeline. Okay? It's a series of steps in which you, tr you manage the, the information you're going through. And it is in a fixed format. That's what happens when you're using an ASIC, an application-specific IC. That's fixed. Whereas when you're using a network processor, instead, you can redefine this pipeline to be anything you like. And this is why software-defined networking really functions very well when you're using a network processor. to be able to do the forwarding plane. Uh, this is what distinguishes NoviFlow from the other actors in this area. We've implemented the entire OpenFlow specification, the entire thing on network processing. So we can do something that's quite unique. We can offer the entire OpenFlow specification 
all of the functionalities that are defined in there, even the ones that are not doable on standard ASICs. And we do that at high capacity, at wire speed. So our products are able to offer both performance and flexibility to be able to issue all of the different commands that are necessary to implement software-defined networking. So in a nutshell, that is what makes OpenFlow and our product special. If you're deploying SDN-based applications and you hit uh, against a, a, a brick wall, either in terms of the application functionalities that you require are not available in your current switching equipment, or you're running this on x86 devices using a vSwitch, but the performance isn't uh, sufficient for you to be able to scale your application. So our solutions give you what you need to do both those, to be able to offer full functionality at scale across the network. My name is Mark LeClaire from NoviFlow. Thank you very much.